Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome inside my aquaponic greenhouse. This is JT Bear, as always, coming to you, saying I hope you're having a fabulous day so far. Just uh, doing a little pre-winter work in here today. Thought I'd share with you uh, this year's mad science approach. Been chipping up a lot of wood in the backyard. Decided to make use of that here in the greenhouse. Not going to get much uh, heat out of it, but apparently I can use it as a bit of an insulation. So throwing that around is a bit of a draft dodger. Also making some changes to the way the uh, plumbing works in my greenhouse. I've decided since I'm no longer using the blue recycling bin in that half of the aquaponics, I'm going to add it to this side over here and turn it into a solids filter. So that'll be uh, pretty nice, pretty interesting. We'll see what comes of that over the course of the day. Give you a few shots along the way, try to keep you updated. Let's get started. So over the years I've tried a few different things to insulate this place and uh, I can't say any of them have really worked. I blame the fact that I just did poor construction in the first place, but this year I figured I'll throw out the wood chips, try and fill some cracks, and maybe at least slow down the loss of heat from the greenhouse. Doesn't really count as mad science though, does it? For the mad science portion, perhaps some of you have heard of those uh, solar heaters people are making out of uh, soda cans and things like that. I tried that briefly, but I don't get quite enough sun in my greenhouse for a full-size solar heater to work. However, I am going to use that idea with some scrap PVC this year and try and make kind of a mini solar heater to go where the sun does hit. In the middle of the winter, I get about 90 minutes of sun and it all falls pretty much right on that beam there and goes to waste. Last year, by the end of the winter, I had started putting these scrap pieces of black rubber up over that to catch some of that heat. What I found is that little tiny bit of black rubber actually managed to catch a fair bit of heat and keep my greenhouse just that little bit warmer. So this year, like I said, I'm going to try and make a little tiny PVC solar heater that I could throw up there. And after all, these are otherwise scrap parts. They're sitting around my yard anyway. Can't use them. All it's really going to cost me is some black paint. So that'll be an interesting project. Stick around for when I get that going. That's not today. Today is mostly sawdust and slidey puzzle. Getting this bin over here and plumbed in as a solids filter is going to be one heck of a project. This is still doing really well though considering how cold it is in here right now. Alright, well I've measured that and it turns out this needs to go up about two inches before this little plan of mine is going to work. So I think it's time to empty the barrel a little bit. Well, I got some of the water out of that. Should be a little easier to lift now. Can't really see the fish through the glare. They're down there. Alright, so basically, water's coming up out of the sump, into the grow bed, into the fish tank. I've got a line going all the way down to the bottom from here. So hopefully it's drawing out the solids, dropping them in here, where it's being sent out on that angle piece. And with any luck, they'll stay in the bottom of this. And clean water will skim off from here, into the sump tank. That was a lot of rearranging, so I certainly hope this works. We'll see. So here we are with the water level topped up, a few adjustments in plumbing later. Same basic plan though, shortened that pipe a little bit. Directed the flow towards the back to get more of a current in that sump tank. But hopefully, this will work. Well, more changes to the plumbing. That got interesting on me. The uh, little pump that I've had in here, maybe six, eight months, I don't know, not very long. That cheap one there, $40 pump, died today. So very convenient that I was out here fiddling in the greenhouse anyway. But I had to switch it back to that Laguna pump, which was pumping out so much that I actually had to add an extra valve to just kind of bleed off the extra pressure back into the sump tank. 
But I got my lid back on my fish tank. I've got a lid on the settlement tank. The garden is doing its flood and drain thing quite happily. All in all, it looks like everything's going to be okay from this adventure. But uh, we'll see. At any rate, I'm done with this one for today. I'll get back at it tomorrow, I'm sure. And uh, perhaps then I'll get started on that little PVC solar heater thing I was telling you about. Anyway, that's it for JT Bear inside my little aquaponic greenhouse saying thanks for watching and have yourselves a fantastic day.